Hey, come on in. We're gonna paint a simple little pumpkin stack, two pumpkins with watercolor. So I have um, my pumpkins drawn here. I am just going to start with this top pumpkin. And we are just gonna put, oh, my brush is a little bit dirty, but that's okay. We're gonna put just a thin, light wash of water. This pumpkin's going to be blue anyway, so uh, my water is just still a little bit dirty from my last, well, my brush is still a little bit dirty, so uh, that's okay. If you want to get this light wash of blue, just pull a little bit of blue off of your palette over here and mix it with your water, uh, but that actually ended up working out in my favor. Um, but you can see that better now, that little wash of color. Um, it's just water. I'm trying to get this brush cleaned out really well. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here. You can see the water is much um, cleaner. My brush is what much cleaner now. So it's giving me a cleaner wash and I'm just wetting the paper. Um, it's not enough water uh, so that the watercolor will just take off and run. It's just enough water um, in that wash so that you can see that the paper has just a slight glisten to it. Um, so we'll work on this bottom pumpkin first. I've got a little bit of pink over here. I'm using my Zen not my Zen, my um, Koi, it's a Zen practice. I guess that's my brain was going there. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, um, there's like a bright pink in that palette, and I'm just gonna really water that down with some water. Um, and it's a little bit muddied uh, from like maybe just a touch of purple in my water. And I'm just gonna come in here in those uh, lines where the pumpkin has um, the deviations, you know, the, the separations between the bits of the pumpkin. And I'm just going to drop some of that pink color right along those spots. And don't forget your bottoms. And the color is going to catch where we place that water wash. Um, you have to work quickly so that your paper remains wet. And on spots like this where it's really already started to dry, I'm just gonna come back in and lay down. My brush is pretty saturated with uh, water at this point um, and still has that pink inside. So I'm just dipping into my water kind of running that down the edges of each of those portions of the where the pumpkin the, the bits of the pumpkin are separated right so I like to work wet on wet uh, and you end up getting a really loose look with the watercolor I can come in and wet this a little bit more. I'm okay with this really spreading out at this point. You just wanna make sure that you leave parts of it um, that are really light with the white because we can always keep coming back in and adding, as I said, it's a fine line. I'll tilt the paper of seeing where it's really, really wet. And even though the paper looks wet, it may not be completely wet. Um, so I'm going to come over here and dip into some of this muddled down like olive green from the palette. It's kind of like brown and green. And I want a very, very light bit of that color on my brush. And I'm just going to come in here randomly and tap that right along those divots or the separations of the pumpkin from the bumps of the pumpkin, from where one bump leads to the next. Just 
going to dip and tap some of that color in there. Don't forget to get your bottoms. Not using a whole, whole lot of color and lots and lots of water because I want these to be nice and soft. You can pull some through and as you work across, you can always come back and add more. I am gonna add some more at the top because there is a shadow there from the pumpkin on top. So I'm using this olive green to create that little bit of shadow. So I'll just continue doing that. soften this out just a bit. I know I want those lighter bits. So we'll let that dry for just a few minutes and we'll move up here to this other, the blue pumpkin. I'm sorry about my shadows. So I'm, I'm this brush I've not, I've just dipped it into my water. And I'm gonna do the same here. Even though the paper um, has pretty much had a chance to dry my blue wash, I'm gonna mix some of that blue over here in with the green. And it gives me like a brownish green. And I'm just going to really add some bits of shadow in between those parts of the pumpkin. Add a good bit in here. Part of the pumpkin that's from the back and we're only seeing the tippy top. Get some more. And it does not have to be perfect. We are trying to work loose and free and just allow that water, the watercolor to do its thing. So I've just washed my brush pretty well. I'm just tapping some of the water off and then I'm going to just soften these lines here and there while that water color that we just placed is still a bit wet. in here. Now I'm picking up some more of the blue green that I have mixed on my brush. Just keep adding that in there. Just think about where the shadows would be versus the highlights. You just want to create that look the shadows and the highlights. All right, so I'm gonna fill this middle part of the pumpkin in just a bit. I wanna leave some of the light. get in there with the darker. Maybe I'll grab um, and pull in some more of that green with a tint of brown. And just really come in and add drops of that. To really accentuate
the shadow. Going for really muted, soft looking pumpkins. They do not have to look perfect. Let's leave and park perfection at the door, guys, right? So we're just going to drop in some of the darker color. Get in there right around that stem. Might get a few drops of really saturated color on the brush. Pull it through. really get in there where that stem is and we'll fix that stem in a couple of minutes now that our pink one is starting to dry I'm gonna come in here now and I'm gonna really just go back in with that um, pink a little bit brighter um, not as dulled down with the brown and I just want to accentuate again those shadow lines between the pumpkin pieces right so we're just accentuating and you can pull that color out a bit really come down here just pressing down on the brush and lifting Pumpkins really typically um, are not smooth in real life. They're very bumpy. So we are just adding those bits in there. You can always come in with some water and soften that out a bit. really liking it guys um, I know on camera it looks a little bit harsh between my whites and my color so you can come back in as that's drying and just add a tiny bit of water to try to help smooth that out if you don't like that look but I just it doesn't look as bad here then it, um, it doesn't look as harsh, not bad, as harsh as it does on camera. Right, so there we go. I've softened that up a bit. I'm going to switch over to a smaller brush. I'm going to grab my size four, wet that, and I'm going to get some more of that olive green. Uh, and a hint of like the darker green. We're just gonna load that up with some water here. And then off to the side here, I'm gonna put the brush down with the tip, press, pull, and lift up. Press, pull, and lift up to create the look of some leaves. I want like a, like a nice, soft, and muted green. I want everything to be nice and soft and muted. I'm going to do the same over here with really soft, muted color. And let's see, I might put a few at the top. So again, tip of the brush on the paper, press it, give it a good wiggle, pull, and lift back to the point to create that 
pointed part of the leaf if that's um, the look you're going for. Right, and you can always come back in now with say a little bit of dark brown or pull in some of that blue, maybe grab a little bit of the purple because that will just um, mute that green even more. See, and then drop some of those in just at the base of the leaves to create that look of shadow. You can pull some stems. Just tapping that brown in there. I'm gonna come up here and work on the stem real quick and then we'll be done. But the very top part of the stem there, we're gonna leave um, pretty white because we want a nice little highlight. Uh, and I'm just gonna come in here and fill in the stem leaving that very faint line right there where the leaf and hits the pumpkin. We're gonna leave that white. I'm gonna come in here and I'm really gonna grab and get some deeper gray, um, green, geez, I can't speak, uh, browns. So I've mixed gray, dark brown, and a little bit of like an orangey earth brown. You can see it here. And I'm just going to tap that right up. I'm going to stay to the one, the bottom part of that stem. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right, so see where I left that white? These parts here I'm making pretty dark. I'm just going to let that water do. As it does, I can add some of that color down here just want to come in here and really create a nice little shadow between the two pumpkins and my blue pumpkin is still wet and some of my pink pumpkin is still wet but I'm it's not like extremely soaking wet but you can see I'm just tapping that dark color and it's kind of just doing its thing exactly what I want it to do um, and it's blending to give me that shadow. I can pull some of that up into my top pumpkin to really pull that shadow up. I can water that down just a little bit and you can come in here and deepen maybe the areas of the pumpkin down here that you might want a darker bit of shadow in. Fall guys it's like fall when you think of these soft muted colors brown um, oranges I love me blue pumpkin and I really 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 love pink pumpkins when I can find one so I'm coming in again a little bit even darker with the gray Go straight from the palette water it down a bit and just tap that in there to create those shadows. I'm gonna come back up here to the stem, do the same, and I'm gonna pull it up some out into the pumpkin because I'm just creating that illusion of depth and shadow. I can pull some out into my leaves and darken some of my leaves. Let's add some gray leaves. Let's put a gray leaf behind there. Let's do some really soft muted leaves here. You can always come in and deepen the colors and add more greens. To brighten it up in certain spots but I'm really going for that really soft muted fall look that I love I can actually lift some of this gray up and off just smudge it out lift it off just 
creating interest with the color. And I think I will hit just the outer edge of my pumpkin with a muted gray just to really define the shape. And I can do the same. Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot to zoom out. Oh, I'm awful. Right, so here we go. If you're watching and didn't get to see certain parts because of the zoom, don't worry, we'll be back with more pumpkin. But you'll see here, I'm just adding those darker hints of gray. just to add a little bit more interest and depth with the shadows. And you can soften this out just a bit at the bottom. Don't be afraid to come in here with that really soft muted color and add some hints just hints of where leaves or grass or whatever would be. Soften that just a bit. Add some green up here as well. All right, so I'm not stressing, I'm just tapping that brush. If it gets too bright, just come in and pull some of it back. Look, it just looks like leaves tapping that brush. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I'll see you next time.